Okay, another math video from AlgebraTestHelper.com, and uh, this is going to be a quick video, short little video on uh, matrix scalar multiplication. Okay, so scalar. Let me write this out. Scalar multiplication. Now that's different than multiplying two matrices together. So, for example, let's suppose I had this a matrix that was one, two, five, seven, and I want to multiply that particular matrix by 9, 2, negative 1, 0. Okay, this is matrix multiplication. This is actually, you know, it's going to take you a little bit of a little bit of work. It's not overly difficult, but this is a totally different ball game than scalar multiplication. Scalar multiplication is actually really, really easy. And this is a um, example of a, a situation where we need to use scalar multiplication. So you'll see a number, okay, some sort of number outside of a matrix like so, okay? And all you're going to do is take that particular number and you're going to multiply it by the respective entries inside the matrix, okay, to write a new matrix. So really, really easy. So three times the matrix 4, negative 5, 0, 2 is going to be equal to 3 times 4 is 12, okay, and then we have 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. 3 times 0 is 0, and 3 times 2 is 6. So that's it. Okay, so scalar multiplication, extremely easy. Now this is a real basic example um, because uh, it's only one number times a 2 by 2 matrix. However, you know, you might have a number times uh, something much larger. Okay, the thing with matrices that I find with students is that because the, op the, the numeric operations are 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 pretty easy. Um, that doesn't trouble students. What what gets uh, students in trouble is that you is that you have to do so many of them, right? So here it's three times four, three times zero, three times negative five, three times two, and this is just a two by two matrix. What if you had something larger, and you're doing so many, um, you know, like so many arithmetic problems? You're doing one, two, three, four, five, six. You could just easily make one little mistake, and I absolutely know who you relate to me. If you're in an algebra class and you're saying, "Yes, I made that mistake," where Let's say you had this right, this right, this right, and then boom, right? Just this one here, you made a quick little error. Maybe you made that negative six, right? And you knew better, but you know, just you just wrote the wrong answer. That is going to happen. It happens to the best of us. It happens to me. And I've been doing this for a long time. So how do you avoid that? You avoid that by total concentration and focus. You cannot do math kind of like um, you know with your mind kind of half wandering. Because if you're going to do it, you're, you're, you're at huge risk of getting wrong problems. And this is beyond just, uh, you know, working with matrix uh, problems, okay? So um, just a kind of little quick uh, tidbit on good math habits. But let's do another quick problem here. So let's say I had maybe x times, I'm just kind of making something up here, x minus 1. Uh, let's see here, x uh, negative 2 and uh, x squared. All right, so let's say this is a bonus question. And I said, OK, um, simplify this uh, matrix expression. So that's just kind of fancy words of saying, do this problem and, and write it in its simplest terms. So oops, I'm going to move this x over here. All right, so what would you do? OK, well, if you recognize what's going on, you have a value. It could be a number or a variable outside of this matrix. So I'm going to take this particular value, which is x. I'm going to multiply it by each one of these entries here. OK, so let's go ahead and do that. So this is going to be x times x minus 1. So this is going to be x times x minus 1. We could write that a little bit easier here. x times x is x squared. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. And x times x squared is what? x cubed. Okay, so there we go. And then right here, x times x minus 1, I could write that as x squared minus x. x squared minus x. Okay, so that would be your little bonus question. If you uh, give that to me, I would say you're great. I'd give you 100%, A plus, and you'd be a happy camper. But anyways, just a quick little... Uh, little lesson, a little review on scalar multiplication. You absolutely need to know it when you're dealing with matrices. Not the same as matrix multiplication. All right, so hope, hope, uh, hopefully this video helps you out. Please come to our site, algebratesthelper.com. Have 
tons, tons more free videos, tutorials, all designed to make math easy to learn. All right, so good luck and take care.